Hello, share technology, share life. The Mi 12 Pro has been released in China mainland, but its international version has not yet been released. If you can't wait now and want to buy Mi 12 Pro shipped from China mainland, then you need to uh, do one step of setup to use Google GMS and Google Play Store normally. This is because the China local version of Mi 12 Pro has its Google GMS hidden. You need manually activate it to use Google GMS properly. OK, let's take a look how to activate the Google GMS on my Xiaomi phone. Let's go. OK, now welcome to my Xiaomi phone. First, uh, you cannot find the Google App Store or Google GMS from the, uh, by default from the Xiaomi phone, which is shipped from the China local shops. So the first step, you needed to activate the hidden Google GMS. But if you purchase this uh, Xiaomi phone from the overseas market uh, in your local shops, I think by default, the Google GMS is pre-installed and activated on your Xiaomi phone. But if you purchase it from the China mainland local shop and shipped from China, China mainland, then by default, the Xiaomi uh, G, uh, the GMS uh, framework is hidden by default. OK, then how can we activate the uh, Google GMS from the Xiaomi phone? Let's go to the settings. Go to the settings and uh, let's search for these uh, options. Let's search for the Google G O O G L E and the search. You can see the basic Google service, this option. We click that one and you can see that this is this option is by default is deactivated when it is shipped from the factory. So we needed to turn this feature on if you experience problems when using Gmail, Google Maps and other Google apps. It will slightly reduce battery life. OK, so if you want to use Google's applications like YouTube, something like that, then you need to switch on these options to enable the Google uh, GMS. OK, this is a first step. You need to enable these basic Google services. OK, let's go back to the desktop. The second step is we needed to go to the Get App, Xiaomi's App Gallery. Then we needed to uh, upgrade the Google App Store. Otherwise, you cannot find the Google App Store on your desktop because it was hidden um, on the uh, in, in in the phones. OK, so let's go to the uh, search for the app gallery, the Google App Store, Google Play Store. You can see here Google Play. You need to click this update here down below, you need to click the update the, to update the uh, Google Play um, store. OK, installing after the in finished the installing, you will find that the Google Play store was on your phone desktop. You can see here on your Play Store desktop. Then we go to Play Store, click that one and uh, then you can easily sign in to sign in the Google Play Store, click the sign in. OK, then you need to log in to your Google account, your Gmail account. OK, I will key in my Google Gmail account. OK, after click after keying your Google Gmail account, click next. OK, then key in your password. OK, after keying the password, then click next to log in to your Google's account. Turn on backup sync, don't Think device contact. Uh, for my case, I just uh, turn on the backup and sync. I just don't sync. If you want to sync, you can click that one. Okay, then I click I agree. Okay. And the backup to Google Drive, switch off. Yes, and uh, let's go to the accept. Okay, it's verify it's you using my fingertips. Okay. OK, so we already uh, logged in to our Google account. Then we uh, so, uh, do some settings. For example, click the settings and go to the settings and the general. I think the settings to turn off some settings, which is better for you for the 
app download preference, we need to ask me every time. Ask me every time download preference. And uh, uh, auto update apps, don't auto update apps. We want to choose it, select this. We want to update the apps by ourselves, by our own decision, not decided by the, by the app store, okay? So auto play videos, don't auto play videos. We do those uh, three kind of uh, settings to make the decision by ourselves. Okay, go back. Then we go to search for some useful apps. For example, the Gmail. Yes, Gmail, then we will download and install the Gmail. Click the install. It's very easy and straightforward. So after you activate, then the GMS, then you can use Google's applications normally. Okay, finished install. Then we go to search for the Google Drive. For the drive, then click install. Okay, Google Drive finished install, then we search for the YouTube. Yes, the YouTube. And install. Okay, YouTube finished download and installed. Let's go back to our desktop. Then let's have a try if the Gmail can be opened. Yeah, opened without problem. And got it. And you can see my uh, Google account already there. Then to click take me to gmail yes you can see the gmail can be opened uh, successfully without problem let's go back to the desktop let's have a look the google drive so the google drive also opened without any problem so my files can be see uh, already there and uh, my google account was logged in and go back and we can have a look at see, the youtube go to the youtube yeah, perfect. So you can see the YouTube can also open normally and uh, the video can be played successfully. Okay, let's go back. Yes, for Xiaomi, if you purchase the Xiaomi 12 Pro from China mainland and shipped from China mainland, then you need to do this step to activate the Google GMS to use Google's YouTube, Google Map, Gmail Drive, Google Drive, something like that. So it is not complicated. It's very, very simple, just uh, two steps, right? So like my sharing, don't forget to sum up and subscribe the channel. See you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.